Hey people, welcome to day 15 of the 30 days in flow. We are going to move four tricks together, transitioning them beautifully because today's theme and technique is trust. Can you trust your body? Can you trust this flow of movement, of hooping? Can you trust the flow of life? This is why we play, this is why we move to build that connection and to build that trust. So yesterday we did a really cool on body to off body barrel roll where we turned 180, grabbed our hoop and then came back to do a two hand isolation. Today we are going to start with shoulder breaks but we're going to do it on the vertical. Then we do a behind the back pass then a body wrap, and then, ooh, can I remember? Do I trust my memory? <laughs> a stall. Because <gasps> mm, it's kind of an unusual one. I've been selecting these randomly, like out of a hat, actually using um, the Flow Session Creator. And so sometimes I'm like, how am I even gonna put these together? It's an amazing way to trust yourself and your creativity and that you can work it out. But here's how we're going to do it today. Yesterday, what we did was, um, so it's extra practice. We turned 180 and then we grabbed with two hands. But this time, what we're going to try to do is seamlessly turn 180, grab with one hand and then take behind the back. So we get our behind the back pass done straight away. If you did not watch yesterday's tutorial or if you need another little refresher, here's what's going to happen. Have your toes facing towards me and then become really mindful of what is behind you at 180 because we want to do an exact half turn, which means you're going to turn feet about hip distance apart and then toes facing towards me. And as you turn, you want to land yourself. So many times in hooping, we are in the air, moving around, doing all these things. But the trust and the balance and the grounding and actually most of our movement, in fact, I'm gonna say all of it, comes from our feet. And so footwork is supremely important. And then after your feet comes the grounding of your legs, your hips, your belly, your core, your breath, your heart, your whole entire being. So it's not just the hoop and hands. I know we say on body and off body. So what I really want you to trust and be considerate of, mindful of in this is the placement, the grounding of your feet. If you don't have shoes on, even better, yum. So facing toes towards me. And as you turn, if you're turning to the left, you're going to catch with your left hand. If you're turning to the right, you're going to catch with your right hand. So see if you can bend your knees, support your back, heart to the earth, give your hoop a push from these shoulder breaks. So hand to hand, let the hoop fall into your hand and then just give it enough energy to come back to your heart. Hand, heart, hand, heart. Left, right, left, right. The next time it's in the opposite hand. So if you want to turn to the left when it's in your right hand, or if you want to turn to the right when it's in your left hand, you're going to give your hoop a nudge and then catch at the top. Elbow bent, hoop in the back frame. So you're going to be trusting that you give it enough momentum, but not too much. So from these breaks, left, right, left, right, left, right. Push, turn, catch with your left hand or vice versa. Now what you really want to make sure is that you are doing that 180 turn because it's gonna get, if you get a little bit like, oh, it's a lot, what you will find that you do is when you go to launch your hoop, you'll try to catch it and you're not, you're facing like just a quarter turn and then you're like, oh, I'm kind of lost. Trust your feet to turn you. And then also, if you stand up, I want your back to be supported, but if you stand up too quickly, like if you just kind of stand up straight away, then you won't have that awareness of doing the 180, meaning that you're not going to be keeping your planes neat. So, which will make it easier. <laughs> ease, grace and ease. So, as you turn, make sure that it's like you are doing a barrel roll, as long as you can support yourself. So, standing up once you get 
to that 180 point. And then the hand that catches is going to push out, leading with your thumb as if your thumb has a magnet. Your hoop's going to go down towards the floor and give it to your other hand. Yes. Okay. So let's try that again. Shoulder breaks. Turn and pass behind the back. Sometimes that can feel really fast. So slow it down. Have faith, have trust. Try again. I'll go from this direction. Shoulder breaks. Have some fun. Push and catch and behind. Yes. Yes. Now we need to do a body wrap. Did I say that? <laughs> I'm maybe not trusting myself enough. Now, because I've done this barrel roll type, grounded, turning 180, what I then want to do is unlock a 360, which means that when I go to wrap the hoop, I want to turn. And then when I go to stall, I want to turn again. So I get these beautiful pirouette-esque type movements and really trusting the flow of your body, really trusting the expanse and that you are in connection with the weight of your hoop and the timing and it's all, it's just gonna feel so yummy. Okay, <laughs> so, ready? What we do next is barrel roll, catch, behind the back, pass, hoop hug or body wrap. Okay, so, opposite shoulder, not too high, not too low. And really, as you bring the hoop around, start to move with it, take it with you. And this is where I, the body wraps really helped me when I first started learning them to unlock from going, okay, quick, I've got, I've got to do all these things to just both of us being in the flow together, taking my hoop with me, my hoop taking me and then ultimately flow. Oh, it feels so good. And then you can start to play with your layers, bringing a slight bend in your knees, bringing a slight extension in your hips, opening up your heart, opening your chest as you move. Now, when you do catch your body wrap, then what you can do to do a stall, and a stall is any time we are and it's mostly, it, it tends to happen mostly on this horizontal, but anytime that we are in the same flow and the hoop is stalling on a part, that means it's not spinning. So we are spinning, it is spinning, it's all happening together. So from a spin to a stall. And so what you can do from the body wrap is when you catch, if you need some extra beats, take the hoop up and give it a spin. And then when you feel ready, you're going to turn in the same direction, watching the opposite side contact point from your hand. When you get too dizzy, give yourself a little break. So here we have shoulder breaks, behind the back pass, body wrap, stall. Can you trust your feet? Can you follow them and allow them to take you? I think the answer is yes. So let's play giving yourself as much time as you need. Trust that you will know how much extra playtime you need today. Take it all up, soak it all up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Big hoop love. Mwah.